gas insulated switch gear for sure gaining some momentum in the recent few years in both the industries the high voltage industry and also in the medium voltage industry it offers many advantages over the ais technology about which we already talked about in our previous video but certainly it also comes with some of the major drawbacks some of the major disadvantages and in this video we are going to talk about some of the disadvantages of the gas insulated switch gear Now undoubtedly the GIS technology is the most reliable technology available in the market today and there is a very rare chance that there will be some fault that will occur inside the switch gear the internal for fault I'm talking about but let's say if that happens if sometimes the internal fault occurs then there is a big problem because in case of GIS the outage time would be huge. Let me explain that with one simple example. Let's consider we have air insulated switch gear. Now in this, there is a fault in the current transformer. Now in this scenario, what I can do is I can replace the faulty current transformer with a new current transformer. Now in that scenario, my outage time would not be very high, maximum by six, seven hours, right? And the supply will continue. But imagine the same thing happening with the gas insulated switch gear. Now I could easily replace the current transformer in the AIS because it's a stand alone device. GIS that is not the case. GIS everything is interconnected. So I just cannot take out the current transformer and put it with a new one. I may have to take out the complete bay. And to replace that, to repair that, it will take huge amount of time. So for sure the out time in that scenario would be very very high when we compare it with the AIS technology. Again for sure uh, this scenario is rare but if that happens then surely it's a problem. Now for GIS we have a lot of manufacturer. Now each manufacturer will have their own design, uh, they will have their own dimensions, they will have their own architecture, the interfaces of the product will be different for different manufacturer and that is the problem. So if I want to extend the capacity of my existing GIS substation, for example, I want to add two more bays to my existing GIS, uh, I cannot do it easily because one manufacturer, uh, the product of one manufacturer will not be able to fit with the product of another manufacturer, right? I may have to design some adapter plates in between so that uh, the, uh, these two devices from two different manufacturer can sync in. And that is a very cumbersome process and I may have to spend additional money to get that adapter plate design. But with the AIS technology, it's the most simplest method. The extensions are super easy. There is no dependency of the manufacturers here. I can get uh, the product of any manufacturer and put it in my bay or add one extra bay. There is no problem at all. But with the GIS, this is one of the problem. The next major drawback that is the use of SF6 gas and not just the use, the use in the very huge quantity. Just to give you one example, the 145 kV bay of a uh, GIS technology, one single bay will need around 130 to 150 kilograms of SF6 gas. Is that a problem? For sure it is a problem because SF6 gas is one of the most dangerous greenhouse gas. And if that leaks into the environment, it stays in the environment for around 3000 years. The global warming potential of SF6 gas is again very very huge. And that is the reason now everybody is talking about going SF6 free, not using SF6 gas in the switch gear. I've already talked about this particular topic in one of the video. I'll provide link for that video down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. But that is the problem now since if we are using SF6 field GIS, then it's not so environment friendly. Yes, for sure there are some solutions available, alternative are available. So instead of SF6 gas, we can use clean air as an insulating medium. 
to know more about that you can watch my video link is in the description now in the previous video we saw all the advantages all the major advantages the gis offers over the air insulated switchgear technology and all these advantages will not just come as it is right there will be some cost attached to it so to get all this advantage we need to for sure spend huge money compared to the ais technology the ais technology is the cheapest technology available in the market for the switch gear but if you want to switch it to the gis technology then you will have to spend a lot of money the initial cost of gis is huge but most of the time uh, it's not just the initial cost that we have to see we have to see the overall life cycle cost of the product and in some scenarios maybe you will find gis is much uh, better option than the ais there are certain application where uh, you have to go with gis only ais is not an option in that case so in that case you'll have to make the choice to go with the gis technology so for sure uh the lifetime cost you have to see and not just the initial cost but if you see the initial cost of the gis is for sure very very high and just on the lighter note this gis needs to be installed most of the time inside a building so it's mostly the indoor type there are options available for outdoor also but mostly it is indoor type so for sure you will have to have a dedicated building covering uh, the switch gear and you have to make sure the atmosphere in that building is well maintained there is a cleanliness there so uh, that area you need to take care additionally ais is mostly outdoor and uh it's it's like once you have installed it will stay outdoor you don't have to have air conditioning to that or nothing so you will have to take care some what the cleanliness inside the gis room so those were some of the major drawbacks that comes with the gas insulated switchgear technology of course nothing is perfect so is the gis as well so with the advantages there are some disadvantages also but it is very very important to understand both these things most of the time people will only talk about the advantages it offers but nobody will talk about the disadvantages that comes with it so i hope this video series has helpful to understand the advantages and disadvantages of the gas insulated switch gear if you found this video helpful then do comment helpful in the comment section below and if you want to learn more about switch gear then i have a dedicated playlist on that i'll provide link for that down in the description you can go and check it out uh after this video so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning